the nine at nine. Let's start with uh, talking yesterday with the author of a new book about the 2000 movie High Fidelity with John Cusack. And we chatted about all the good songs that are on that soundtrack. Here's one that isn't really a hidden gem, but it was exposed to a whole new audience in that movie. Stevie Wonder, I believe when I fall in love, it will last forever. Sound like Stevie not a, Wonder. No, not arrangement wise either. Wow. It's, wow. This song is from the 1972 album Talking Book. Huh. What do yeah, you know? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, see, they did deep cuts on that. Yeah. Movie. That's good, though. That's awesome. That's great. All right. Huh. Number eight, uh, we'd like to think we're excellent party guests, but it turns out we might not be. According to etiquette scientists, lots of us are committing party fouls without even realizing it. If you're at a party and you only talk to the people you know without making any effort to speak with others, that is considered rude. And if you show up without a uh, host gift, rude. If you bring an uninvited plus one guest, rude. Uh, if you arrive too early or really late, you are disrespecting the party host and their time. Uh, just some stuff to think about. You might think it's no big deal, but it might be offensive to others. So be on time, bring a little gift, talk to other peoples, or just stay home. Mm -hmm. A lot of options mm -hmm. there. Number seven, this one's about the last drink of actor Oliver Reed. In 1999, at age 61, Reed was in Malta filming Gladiator with Russell Crowe. You might remember he played Proximo in the movie. On his last night of filming, Reed stopped in at a bar called The Pub. He drank eight pints of lager, 12 double rums, and 14 whiskey. Wow. He also won a bunch of arm wrestling right. contests with members of the British Royal Navy, wow. then paid for their entire round of drinks. Sadly, that turned out to be Oliver Reed's last night on Earth. <laughs> wow. He collapsed before an ambulance arrived. The pub is now an unofficial shrine to Oliver Reed. Wow. Fans and visitors can buy merchandise with his face oh. on it. Wow. Huh. Well, he kind of went out on a bang, right? Yeah. I'm most shocked by the fact that he was only 61 in, Gal in Gladiator. He looked a lot older than yeah, 61. That's some hard living. Hard hard living. Yeah. Wow. Right. I think they had to go back and, because they weren't finished filming the movie, they had to yeah. shoot like him from behind him as uh, someone fill in, and they had a bigger, yeah. there was more to his role, but you're not there, you're not there. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, number six is a curious one. We showed a clip with Sandra Bullock last, last week, and in reading her Wikipedia page, we realized her sister is a pastry chef Ooh. who's been on the Food Network. But when you Google images of Sandra and Gazina Bullock Prado, it seems impossible to find one of the two of them together in which Sandra is smiling. Oh. We don't know why. Mm. What's that about? There's yeah. something there, Robin. Relationships she's smiling, are... just not open mouth. Maybe she's not an open mouth smiler. Oh. oh. No, she's just not a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bitterness may be in there. Interesting. Yeah, again. Mm. Look at that. That well, could be maybe in her childhood. She didn't like her teeth or her yeah. tongue yeah, or who something. Knows? Well, what do you know? Okay. Never, we're not going to judge. No. Yeah. That's not our job. But she would be a lot prettier if she would smile. <laughs> she with smiles. Her mouth. It's just out right. in these pictures. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Fair enough. All right, number five. Here are some fun gift ideas. These are engraved desk plates. They include ringleader, uh, troubled youth, uh, unruly heir, underachiever. There's another one, former child prodigy. They're all available online at fecastleberry.com. Huh. All right, number four, in the mid to late 1980s, there was a Hollywood nightclub that was just for underage kids. Alpha, it's called Alfie Soda Pop Club. 
But it wasn't just any club, it was exclusive and catered to Hollywood kids. As you see here, Tina Yothers of Family Ties, Corey Haim, Alyssa Milano, Alfonso Vieiro, to name a few. You had to be 16 and older to get in, plus you had to be famous. It was the place to be if you were in a TV show, movie, or the music industry, and too young to get into a real club. People in their mid to late 40s and early 50s might remember Mike T's in Orland. Oh, yeah. It was a teen nightclub owned by Chicago Bear Mike Tomzak. Mike's just used to oh, wow. that one all the time. Yeah. Mike T's. We had the castle. No, the palace. It was the palace. There was one in Chicago that I used to go to. What the heck was the name of that one? Saviano. Though. Yeah, you drink it's it right all. right here over. on Archer Avenue. What was, what was a pretty famous one that was all yeah. the... Hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah. we'll get that. I'm sure it'll be interesting. Yeah, we'll All right, number back. three, speaking of Mike Tomczak, let's talk about him. Mike T played for the Bears and various other teams between 1985 and 1999. He also played for the Packers, the Browns, the Steelers. Well, where is he now? After leaving football, Mike Tomczak worked as a sports announcer in Pittsburgh, did some color commentary for ESPN. From there, he became a sports management agent. He once appeared on a TV sitcom called Yes, Dear, as himself. Oh. He also has a foundation that helps people with developmental and intellectual disabilities. That's him. Wow. Look at him. Wow. Good for him. I, I wouldn't have recognized him. No. no. Uh, put a helmet on him, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two, we're looking at the most dangerous songs to drive to this holiday season. The good folks at Insurance Opedia did a study, and the most dangerous song is this classic. Why is that? I listen to the lyrics. All right, it's Frosty the Snowman. Uh, we use the Ronettes version since it seems the most upbeat. According to the study, Frosty has a beat per minute of 172, which makes it the most dangerous song to drive to and most likely to cause the driver to have a road accident. There's a correlation between high beats per minute and drivers engaging in risky behavior. And tomorrow we'll re reveal another dangerous to drive to holiday <laughs> song. So it's beats per minute. Got it. Uh, in Christmas songs. Okay. Uh, that was a long way to go for nothing. Uh, this will be good though. Number one. The YouTube page of Bill McClintock is full of these really cool mashups of songs you would never think could go together. Such is the case with this Christmas mashup. It's Brenda Lee's Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree and ACDC's Dirty Deeds Done <laughs> Dirt Cheap. He calls it Dirty Deeds Around the Christmas Tree. Okay. <laughs> Talks YouTube page. That's really good. Great stuff. <laughs> oh, it's fabulous. Great stuff. Brilliant. That's tonight at nine. <laughs> 